we are standing in front of the camp in the entrance. This is not the first section and will not be the last section because we are demanding our rights, we are demanding justice, we want the inequality, discrimination, segregation in the camps to be end up. Today we are not only the women standing, but also hundreds of men are also standing and we are asking the same thing. We all want our right. We don't want to be put in the camps, be far from local people, and to only raise our voices for ourselves. We want other people to know what is our problem. We are far from the town, we don't have access to education. We are far from the town, we don't have access to healthcare. We are people that were vulnerable, but there is no consideration about our condition. When we have problem inside of the camp, our life is in danger. No one of the police is coming inside. But today that we are protesting, police come inside and they want us to stop our action. The police, the real police are standing here. And here it is not, it is for three hours that we are standing. We want them to listen to our voices, but they are denying that. So how long should it continue like this? How long should we stay silent? And how long should we suffer in repression, in discrimination, and in segregation? Asking about education, asking about the asylum process and answer decision equally for all asylum seekers, is it too much? Why one community should be in priority and the other should be left behind? Why the priority should be one? Why one community is called as vulnerable that should be in the first line but not others? When Afghan people are living with African community, African community are living with Syrian community, Syrian community are living with Arab community and Somalian community, they should be in the same line. They should have the same right. When one can have the passport and ID, the other should also have it. The international laws should be the same for all. Not to give priority for one, but not others. We women, the men, the girls, the boys, the children, vulnerable, and all people are asking one thing. We want to have our ID cards soon as other people could have it. Freedom of movement should be a right. Self-determination should be a right. Access to social benefits should be a right and everyone should be treated equally in the same line and there, is, there should not be any difference among one human being to another human being. Papers and documents should not segregate people from each other. برگه و سند و پاسپورت نباید یک ایده از مردم با بقیه جدا بسازه حق سفری نباید از کسی گرفته بشه همه باید حق از این بیشتشم به صورت آزادانه حرکت کنم جنبش آزادی جنبش مایه آیدی پاسپورت بارمان آیدی پاسپورت بارمان آیدی پاسپورت بارمان